Okay, we're going to be starting our uh, system, uh, our Arduino today, with the 74HC595 uh, integrated circuit. And the purpose of this is to expand our Arduino. At this point in time, 13 pins. We have 13 I.O. pins on the Arduino. Uh, and we you know, feel that, gosh, that's more than we'll ever use. But as we start to get, become more elaborate with our programming and we get to be uh, uh, into robotics and, and sensors, you're soon going to find that we have to have additional uh, pins. And one way we can do that is by expanding it with our uh, 74HD595 shift uh, register. Now, the shift register, I, I think I've already sent you an email that uh, explains a little bit about uh, how to get into Headrush. Uh, if you're if you receive that email, you should be able to just click and enter Headrush, and you should see exactly what I have before me, for me. Uh, just a little bit of overview of what we're going to be doing, uh, and it's really who it's created by. You'll notice that you have a start date and an end date. Uh, you'll need to be able to get your assignment uh, completed within that time frame. If you can't get it completed, then you need to talk to me, and we'll we'll go from there. So uh, this is a this is a, a Arduino lesson, and it is 74HC595. Once again, we'll be using Paul McCorder as our uh, instructor, uh, and because let's face it, he has a lot more experience with Arduino than I do. So uh, the next thing would be go to your task board, and you should see this come up when you have your task board. You'll see the 74HC595. Now, guys, you have uh, two ICs in your kit. You have the 74HC595, and you have a motor controller. Make sure that you use the HC or the uh, 74HC595. The motor controller will be using later, but it's specifically uh, to, to control motors. You'll need to review this information. Uh, there's quite a bit of, uh, of information there about the, the register itself. This will be our design. Uh, if you want to open that up, you can see that this is our design. And you will need to get eight LEDs. And we'll be using 330 for our resistor, 330 ohm resistor. I think he's using 220 here, but I want you to go ahead and use 330. This is our uh, schematic of how you need to to get it installed. So uh, you'll need to build that. Get, you'll need a breadboard, some leads, your Arduino, the, the IC component, and then enough uh, resistors to, to protect those LEDs. We'll go to the guided practice. This once again is Paul McCorder, and he'll be uh, leading you through it if you'd like to have guided practice. If you don't want to have guided practice, you can just jump right into the coding yourself. Uh, that's okay too. But Paul will send you through it if, if you like. We come to the code over here, and uh, the code is is uh, uh, we use universal variables. You'll have a void setup, and you'll have a void loop. So you'll need to go ahead. We'll be using lack pins, clock pins, and data pins. Now this may be the first time that we've been introduced to. Black pins and clock pins and data pins. The the clock pin is nothing but an internal working mechanism on the IC unit, and what it does is check all the time to see if there's any data coming. And it, it opens, it goes and checks and sees if there's data uh, available. And it does it in you know milliseconds or microseconds, so it does it very rapidly. The latch pin, we have to set the latch pin to low. And when we set the latch pin to low, that allows the data to come back into the uh, yeah, back into the uh, thing, the IC component. Once the data is in, then we want to close the latch pin, and we do that by bringing it back to high. This will make more sense once it gets started. So your assignment today is go ahead and incorporate uh, uh, the uh, 74 HC uh, 595 into our Arduino toolbox. I'd like to have these lights, these LEDs, uh, flashing back and forth. Uh, if you'd like to think of these as binary numbers, this would be one zero one zero one zero one zero, and.
and then I would like it to flash back the other way. So, if you have questions, please come on up and we'll see if we can discuss those. Uh, you can email me questions if you like. Uh, there's also a way to send them to me uh, on on this head rush. But if you'd like to have some additional help, uh, come on up. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Well, the best of luck, and let's get started.